uh, let, let's get to that right now. As the markets retreat at this hour, let's bring in the man who more than a year ago saw this coming. He called the dollar trade. In fact, right here in Davos, he told us, you've got to love and buy the dollar. Joining me now on his next trade, let's hope, is Cantor Fitzgerald and BGC Chairman and CEO Howard Lutnick. Howard, uh, look, Japanese stocks are in a bear market. Hong Kong seeing their worst level since 2007. You called the dollar. What are you calling now? When will we see a bottom? Is there not capitulation just yet? And that well, means where everybody starts failing. Yeah, we're definitely not. We haven't seen capitulation at all. Volumes were high because there was big volatility, but you're not seeing institutional selling. They're not running for the hills. They're just staring at it and watching it go down. Let, let's just go over something fundamental. Oil is cheap. And when was the last time the world falls apart because oil is being cheap? Would we rather the Saudis not pump and OPEC go back to the days where they just jack up the price? So let me get this straight. If oil was up 7% today, it would be a huge rally. This makes no sense. We're seeing a giant the effect of a tax cut. Oil being cheap means you're going to fill up your tank for 20 bucks. The world is going to get better. I'm not saying the stock market's going to be good in the first half, but the second half of this year, you're going to see the stock market pick it all back because cheap oil is great for America. It may not be good for China, it's not good for Russia, it's not good for Nigeria, but for America, Happy days. Okay, I get that. Happy days until they open their January statements for their 401k. You, you, Howard, you have to admit, there's a knock-on negative effect for something like that. I think, I think you get tough six months. I mean, it, the first half of this year feels lousy, but the fundamentals are employment in the United States is going to go under 5%. That means we're employing people, we're giving them jobs. The price of gas, the price of energy, uh, airlines. How about shipping, right? Shipping prices are down. 50%. So you have the shipping companies complaining, but meanwhile, the cost of shipping for every other business is cheaper. So, you know, I think fundamentals in the second half of the year are good. You're going to see the stock market rally. You're going to end this year not down 10%, probably an unchanged year, which means it's a good buying opportunity now. And companies like mine at BGC Partners, we love, as you know, we love chaos. We love volatility. We love when it's busy. So a day like today is great for our company at BGC. So, you know, Someone's happy. Folks, I need you to, to just uh, <laughs> settle on what Howard just said. He said that we will not end lower like we are right now. In fact, you expect flat. So um, the Fed, the Fed, forget it, not moving next week, obviously. No chance. Um, any chance in March? No chance. Any chance now uh, that, that it would, believe it or not, there has been discussion about whether it would take back the quarter percent hike. No chance. T today, no, <laughs> no chance. chance. Okay. It's only a quarter of a point. Right. You know what you do with a quarter point of interest rate? You have a million dollars, you buy coffee for your friends. This is not an interest rate. Moving it back from a quarter to zero has no economic impact in America. It's a showpiece, not real interest rates. Yeah, a quarter in, percent in fact, is nothing. In fact, it could be dangerous. I had an opportunity just a few hours ago to speak to Jacob Frankel, who is chairman of J.P. Morgan International. You know him. And I asked him, is there any chance that the Fed might take back that quarter percent hike? I want you to hear what he said, and then we can react. Here's sure. Jacob Frankel. There is only one way forward. It will be a great mistake for the even to think about lowering rates because there is nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. He also said it would, it would cause a real confidence crisis, too. Of course. Of course, look, they went off of zero to a quarter because they wanted to show that the U.S. economy is doing pretty well. Right. Okay? The rest of the world, sure, it's, you know, China's... You know, but we don't know about China's statistics, and it's difficult. China's just a well, difficult worse, growth market. Howard. Correct. Of course they could be worth, but that is, we import from China. We don't export to China. We buy their stuff. They don't buy ours. Our life is not dependent on how they do. The U.S. is reasonably comfortable. We're going to have cheap oil. We're going to have cheap energy. We're going to have cheap shipping. I think the second half, the first half of the year, I'm not saying tomorrow, and the next day won't be yucky. But the fact is, when we're done and dusted, it's going to be really good. Um, 